Okay, the last pair that we're looking at for the 14th of February 2011 is the US dollar against Japanese yen on our six green CTT strategy template. Just gonna have a look at the daily time frame. Let's zoom out a bit so you can see what's happening. Okay, here again, US dollar has been able to rally against uh, yen in as many weeks, and by doing so, you can see it's uh, bounced off from let's just say here yeah, just above the 8100 mark and the previous swing high just here the early start of February has seen this pair move up against this pair in as many weeks you can see it's actually traded higher than the previous swings to the downside so we've seen a breakout of this a bit of consolidation this is coming around a previous high area for this pair Okay, and um, Asian market trading this morning, we've seen it close lower, and we've seen the US, I mean, the European session take it, and we are still trading lower than this. So, what you're seeing is this band almost well engulfing Friday's uh, trading range. Okay, now what we want for this pair, uh, obviously, if you want to see further highs of this, is obviously a break and close higher than this high that we've seen here previously, which happens to be a support. Uh, area in the past and resistance in early 2011 so if the pair can rally find more momentum and close higher than this level here uh, then we could see definitely see this pair moving in its favor further or well, creating further highs uh, remember that the major trend is still negative okay we've broken that major trend now as it stands what we need now to see a confirmation of this trend uh, a trend forming indicated to the upside on this new trend now okay because you can see we've had this was a low we've had a bounce here a further bounce here on the 20 period moving average and now we're trading above resistance okay trend line resistance let me just put that in here we go now what we're going to see is probably a consolidation in this area roughly if we can use this intermediate trend line over here for example as an indicator where it's likely to go to 8300 maybe we've had we've been uh, to 8300 in the past you can see we had some highs and resistance level here just around about the 8300 mark see that bang so if we can see it staying above 8300 in this pullback if there is to be a pullback then we could still see upside movement why because we're still trading or having high swing highs and we've broken a major trend. CTC, however, is still negative. Okay, and it was still so negative until such time as we get um, a break higher than this area, and then we will definitely see the blue on either side. And that's what we're waiting for now, because we've got a blue candle. Uh, sorry, blue arrow. A uh, blue candle's formed. All we need to do is to see the CTC on either side go blue to confirm further upside movement, and that will only occur once we break in above the 8350 mark at least. Okay, because then if we do that. And we're looking at here yeah, just above 84, uh, 84.30 or 40 as our next target. And that'll bring it into clip play with the 200 period moving average on, on this time frame, the daily. Okay. So you might see a bit of consolidation taking place. There we go. You can see it now on our, uh, our four hour and our hourly. Uh, but as long as it's trading above 8300, we should still look for potential upside movement. But until such time, there could be an opportunity for shorting. And we should be looking out for potential. Uh, shorting opportunities to the 8300 uh, mark. Okay, you can see that we had a previous resistance and support level here. It's around here, just above the 8300 mark, 8330 mark. Now we're trading below that. You can see the swings are lower, as I mentioned. It's always important to see that. However, we come from a downside area. If I can just put that in quickly, you can see we're testing it now. So a breach of that would see further downside movement. And ultimately, we're looking right down here as our first target at 82.60. Or, there. So, it's got to trade below 83.05 at least, or the 83.00, which is what I'm saying we probably find support at. So, keep that in mind. Okay. That support 83.00 is going to be the uptrend I mentioned earlier. So, be wary of that going into today's trading and the rest of the week. Hey, guys. Have a fantastic day. 
Remember to keep your trading simple. Follow the rules.